hell because there's nowhere to go. And here's what I, here's what I want to, to go back to. I think about what Satan said with the Lord about you. I'll take everything he has. I'm going to take everything he has. Those who aren't saved, that's what Satan is going to do. He's going to what to you? Torture you. He has no love for you. This is eternity. It's going to be eternal damnation. Y'all, I'm not that tough. It took me a while to learn this, but I'm not that tough. I'm not in high school. I understand I hurt me if I fall. He hurts me. I don't like pain. And the older I get, the more I dislike it. But here's what I'm so thankful for as I get ready to close. There's going to be a time I'm not going to have to hurt him anymore. It, if my stumble is not going to matter, I'm going to be able to sing. There's a time in my life I'll actually be able to sing. Where? In heaven. But here's where I'm going with this, y'all. Whatever you're heading for, no matter what you're going through, no matter what the, what the world puts on you, is short term. It's short term. It's not going to last always. What do we have to look forward to? Heaven. We have a home that we're, that we're headed to that all of this will be behind us. This is what we want to share with the world. We want to take out with us the love of Christ and share this week with the folks that we come in contact with. And let's do what we can to make them understand that this is not, we're not here. This is not a hoax. It's real. It's forever. And you get one shot at this. They don't blow it. Don't blow it. I like what Robert said. Once you stand before the Lord, it's too late. It's too late. I'm going to close with this. What are we here for now, after we have been saved? To sound the horn. To sound the horn. I'm so loud, I can get even louder. We're here to sound the horn by screaming, by shouting, by constantly talking to people. I heard somebody say this afternoon that as church was coming to a close, said, I'm going to go shake her cage. I'm going to rattle her cage. But we're, that's what we're here to do. Rattle somebody's cage. And when they hugged me and when I stunk, that's what they did. That rattled my cage. That shook me up. When somebody helped me when I needed help, that shook me up. Why is that so important? That is going to impact and encourage folks. That's going to change people's lives. I'm going to close, guys, with this. We're armed with the love of the Lord. That's all you need to impact somebody else's life. The love of the Lord. Just act upon what he's placed inside your heart and share the love of the Lord. And that's going to change folks' lives. It's going to impact folks' lives. Man, I'm coming to God. Like, man, I put man, I think I have not been up here this long. I'll let that play and I can think I felt the same. Then that shut up and goes on and on forever. But I'm happy to say that I've been blessed. In that, I can see how the Lord has impacted my life. And oftentimes, it's sad for you. <laughs> As you guys sit up, sit up and hear me. You know, it's sad, but I'm going to close in prayer. But here's where I'm going. As we go about our week this week, let's share with folks. As you have. And I'm just asking that you share what you have. You are making. And we as a church will continue to make that impact until the Lord comes back. And let's show the world one person at a time that we're not hypocrites up here. All we're doing up here is what? Helping lead people to Christ. We're sharing what? The gospel of Jesus Christ. And I got to close. Man, I'm excited. I don't want to shut up. Lord, as we go about our way, I just praise, I pray that each will be filled with your word. And as we see people this week, I pray that we will share your word with them. Lord, I pray that each will understand that there is a day at which the time will be gone. It will be late. It will be coming no longer until you. Lord, I just pray that as we see folks this, this week, and they will hear from you. Pray for you. Give it in your name, Lord, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your time.